Saturday night's blockbuster night of action. I want to bring up a man who has a record of 22 wins, three losses, 16 wins coming by way of knockout from Albuquerque, New Mexico, not training in Las Vegas. I want to acknowledge his esteemed trainer, Ismael Salas, who is with him, ladies and gentlemen. Just an astute boxing mind, Ismail Salas, the trainer of Brian Mendoza. This man recently challenged Tim Zhu in Australia, losing a decision, but he owns a knockout victory over Sebastian Fundora in one of 2023's biggest upsets. One thing about this man, he always comes in shape, he always comes in prepared, and he's always ready to go. He will make sure that the fight fans get their money's worth. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brian Mendoza. Hey guys, I um, just want to start off thinking, you know, um, I hate from PBC, Luis de Cuba, you know, the whole team that made this happen. Um, you know, it's funny, I was just thinking, uh, like six years ago, I came to Vegas, I was trying to see, you know, what signings and everything, and I think it was for the maybe the Pacquiao Broner fight, and I actually came up here and took a big picture, you know, manifesting one day that I'd be up here, and then here we are, man. Um, it's just, like I always say, you know, hard work and everything uh, gets you here, and we just knew, you know, I, di I didn't know, uh, they told me to kind of be ready maybe as a backup for this fight, send me up, might be sending me up you know, somewhere in like April or something to get ready, I had no idea, but, um, you know, me and my team were just always grinding, always grinding, and staying ready for whatever, uh, the second I get that call, so when I got this call for this fight, there was no hesitation, I want to be on this uh, level of, the fights, you know, I belong at the top level. I still think um, right now I'm the number two in the division behind Tim Zoo. And um, it's time to show that again Saturday night. So just tune in, be ready for an action-packed fight. Brian Mendoza, ladies and gentlemen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring in, uh, and first of all, acknowledge the trainer of Brian Mendoza's adversary, Manny Robles, ladies and gentlemen. Manny has done things at the absolute highest level having helped to lead world champions also. Uh, Sergey Bogachuk is being promoted by Tom Loeffler's 360 Promotions. Tom Loeffler in the house here. Great to see Tom as always. This man, 23 wins. All of his wins coming by way of knockout against a single sole defeat. 28 years of age, originally from Ukraine, now residing in Los Angeles. He has been on an absolute tear, looking to make it six straight victories on Saturday night. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Sergei Bulachuk. Hi guys, I'm happy to be here. It's a big show for me, and I show my fans, I show everything good fight coming on Saturday and I'm just here to see show. Thank you. Yes, a man of few words, that is Sir Ray Bochuk, but let me tell you, he does all his talking inside the ring. What a matchup that's going to be between Brian Mendoza and Sir Ray Bochuk. Well, also, now I want to get into the main event of our PBC on Prime video card before the PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video. Want to acknowledge Stephen Breadman Edwards, who is the trainer of Chiron and Davis from Philadelphia. Let's give a round of applause to Stephen Breadman Edwards, who has been in the trenches in some big fights as well. This man, 18 wins, three losses, one draw, six wins coming by way of knockout. A native of Wilmington, Delaware, training in Philadelphia, as I mentioned, alongside Stephen Breadman Edwards, scored two wins in 2023, including most recently, having earned a unanimous decision victory over Coop Stewart back in December. The one thing about this man is that he's always in shape. He will take on anybody and everybody. He's prepared to go on the road. Anytime you call him, he's ready to step inside the ring and put his skills to the test against the world's best. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chiron. Shut it down, uh, Davis. going on um, we flew out here to make a make a point we we'll win on Saturday not really much to say I trained hard this isn't one of those fights where they throw me in two weeks it's not one of them fights where you know I, I came in and saved the show um, this is one of them fights where I get to show you all who I am and I'm excited for it y'all gonna get a great fight because this is a good fighter right here so I mean I appreciate y'all for showing up and I'm gonna show out 
thank you to uh, Kyron Davis. So you hear how confident he is, no doubt. He deserves to be with what he's been able to do over the course of his career. Well, when people ask about who could potentially be the next young star in boxing, you have to look at what this young man has been able to do. Fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona, first onto the scene last year with three impressive wins. No stranger to fighting on big cards. He followed up a knockout of the previously unbeaten Amin Calvidan with wins on the Davis versus Garcia and Canelo versus Charlo undercards. His record, 16 wins, no losses. 13 wins coming by way of knockout. His stock continues to rise, and he looks for the biggest win of his career on Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Elijah Garcia. Sebastian Fundora, how much do you want to turn back the clock and sort of have another big moment like that here in Las Vegas? You guys see, you know, and I'm, I'm actually underdog in this fight again. Uh, you guys see, you know, when I have a chip on my shoulder, what I get done, and um, I, I'm, I'm very hungry for this fight, and I have a lot to prove on Saturday night. All right, Brian Mendoza, greatly appreciate him. Good luck to you, sir, on a Saturday. Sir, hey, Boa Chuck, as you prepare for Brian Mendoza, you know how much of a tough competitor he is. He's a world-class opponent. Uh, you were supposed to be fighting Sebastian Fundora, but now change in opponent as Fundora will be fighting Tim Zhu. What went through your mind when they asked you, do you want to fight Brian Mendoza? So Brian is a good fighter, he's a good experience for me, big fight for my career. And uh, I'm ready for good for this fight because I know what, what this fight for me is a big fight for me. When I've been test fight and then continue for a bigger fight, and uh, Zhu or um, thing? Is it just you working on certain mechanics? What has been the key to your recent run of success? Yeah, by all means. I think uh, Sir, he gained a great deal of experience. I, I, I believe that you always learn more from your defeats than you do from your wins. So that was a great uh, experience for him when he coming off that loss. After that loss, he came back to the gym and he came back a better fighter. Uh, been proving that time after time. I mean, he's on a roll with, you know, all his wins are by knockout. Uh, and he's been maturing, he's just been getting better with every fight, and I believe he's ready for the for the test at hand from uh, Final question Ryan. to uh, Sergei is, do you believe that you are now at your most dangerous because of what you learned and now in the midst of this win streak? Not lost to experience to it no more. And uh, 
I'm lost this fight because I'm lost cat in this fight. I, I wanna win, uh, go, I wanna go, I need to go, 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 no. I need to, to now I'm smarter, now I'm more smart, with more, more, have more experience, and now I'm ready for a big fight. All right, sir, hey, Boga, Chuck, ladies and gentlemen, good luck to you on Saturday. Speaking of experience, Tyron Davis, you have quite a bit of experience as you prepare to take on this young lion in Elijah Garcia. Uh, knowing that as people look at this fight, I, I would gather that you are likely the underdog. Do you pay attention to that? Do you use that as bulletin board material? Or, or what are your thoughts on that? It don't matter to me. You know, I got nobody to fight the fight but me and him. So what you think really don't matter. You know what I'm saying? But I don't look at it. You know, I don't really care much about it. But I think I am an underdog, though. They just might throw me in there. But it is what it is. I know you've taken short notice fights before, but to my knowledge, you've got plenty of notice for this matchup. Do you believe on Saturday we are going to see the most complete version of Kyron Davis? I do. I think you're going to see a lot, a lot of things come together. You know, you could, when you got two weeks, you know, that ain't no time. Especially training for somebody like David Benavidez in two weeks and then fights the way out for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, two weeks. I mean, like, a real two weeks. I mean, like, two weeks, like, come out the club, go, to, go train for two weeks. And then go fight. You feel so now yeah. it wasn't like yeah. you weren't even it in camp. It wasn't like, you know what I'm saying? So that's the kind of fighter I am, know. I, I get in and fight with anybody, you know what I mean? I'm just like that, you know. But you know, I had time for this training camp. There's no, there's no excuses ever, but I had time, so you're going to feel it. Is this the moment where if you're able to get your hand raised on Saturday where you literally catapult yourself into the top rankings of the division? Um, I think so. I think I think a win, a win on Saturday puts me position for a world title shot, so that's what we're looking for. Tyron Davis, ladies and gentlemen, now we'll go to Elijah Garcia. Elijah, you know, you had a very big 2023. You fought on some big cards, as we mentioned, but now it's no longer that you are just here. People expect certain performances from you. How do you handle that pressure, or is it pressure to you? Uh, it's, it's not really pressure, to be honest. You know, 2023 is a great year, but, you know, now we're in 2024, so I don't want to look back too much. But, uh, you know, it was, it was a real good experience. Um, you know, it, it's going to help me out a lot this fight. And, uh, you know, to knock people out or whatever, that, that don't really put no pressure on me. Um, it's more about just, you know, performing right and uh, getting something to my point. That's what usually wins. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's not that. So. Well, let's talk about your opponent, Kyron Davis. You know, what kind of statement are you looking to make against a guy who has put himself in there against world champions? You know, he's very durable, he's smart, but comes from a very good, you know, background, training under the guidance of Stephen Brad, Matt Edwards. But, you know, how big of a fight and how much of a statement do you want to make on Saturday? It's a real big fight for me, you know. Um, to be honest, you know, Davis, he's, he's a real, he's, he's a dog, man. You know, I've seen him fight Benavidez. He didn't quit. Um, he's, he's for real, he's legit. And, um, you know, this is a real dangerous fight for me because, you know, he has three losses. He's 29 years old. He ain't got nothing to lose. So if I didn't, you know, get 100% in training or 100% or whatever, you know, he, he could win. And, uh, you know, this is just going to be another good fight, uh, another round of experience for me. And, uh, you know, hopefully right after we we'll get the title shot. And uh, that's, that's what I'm looking for. So your next fight, if you are victorious on Saturday, you want a title shot or possibly an eliminator matchup? Yes, sir. Kyron, when he talks about this being a potential dog fight, I know that it's not going to be difficult for you to find this guy. You know, some guys like to move around and, and they try to be a bit trickier, but Elijah Garcia seems to be willing to engage with you and, you know, how much are you excited about that prospect? Mm, if it get like that, it get like that. You know, I'm ready for whatever. So it's going to be a good fight. I mean, he bring it, I'm going to bring it. You know what I mean? But we'll see what happens. All right, I'm going to go around to the uh, four fighters and get their final comments. I will start with you, Brian Mendoza. Saturday night, as you take on Sergei Boachuk for the interim WBC Super Welterweight Championship of the World, your prediction? I believe this fight ends before the, the distance. Um, I don't think this will go all 12 rounds, and I will leave it 12 rounds. Brian Mendoza predicting a stoppage, ladies and gentlemen. Sergei Boachuk, for you, how is the fight going to end on Saturday against Brian Mendoza? You know, um, he's a good opponent, and I know this, and 
I'm ready for 12 rounds, I'm ready for 20 rounds, you know? It's for me, I'm ready for a distance, maybe he, oh, I, I, I tell every time, I don't know what's he ready, you know? Maybe he's ready good, maybe 12 rounds, he's ready for this fight, no good, maybe go. I'm, I'm, I'm dry, I'm, I'm, I'm show Saturday. Sergey Boachuk, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Sergey Boachuk. Very confident indeed. You want to finish off your point? He's good. All right. Well, now we will go to Kyron Davis. I know you have a lot of confidence, Kyron, as you prepare for this, your biggest assignment of your career against Elijah Garcia. How's it going to unfold? Oh, my hand raised. Real simple. Good the day. Kyron should have gotten Davis one for the Kyron Davis, ladies and gentlemen, now I will end it with Elijah Garcia before we get to our pay-per-view main card. Elijah on Saturday against Kyron Davis. How do you see the fight transpiring? Uh, I see a real good fight, uh, but most definitely I see myself winning. Um, I want to thank all my family that came out here. Um, I want to thank my training, my management, and I want to thank my Savior Christ. Um, without him, nothing is possible, and you know, I'm just prepared to put on a fight. All right, at this time, we're going to pose the fighters off, and then we will get ready for our pay-per-view main card. The pay-per-view streaming live and for free, 6 Eastern, 3 Pacific time here in Las Vegas. Longest third down in history. <laughs> So those are our opening 